hi, Frozen OG here, and welcome to my new Let's Play. Um, I got to 25 subscribers, so I'm going to go ahead and start it now instead of next week. Um, basically, the point of this is to raise a family of adopted or foster children. Since there's not fostering actually in the game, they're going to be adopted, but I'm calling it fostering because um, she's going to get a stipend from the government, which is like when you foster in real life. Um, it's using the homemaker mod from um, Inras or Inras. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But anyway, um, I'll get into the rules in a bit later. But let's meet our Sim. She her name is Claire Foster. She is neat, a natural cook, handy, family oriented, and nurturing. And these are all um, traits that will help her. Um, with her goal of raising five children from babies to teenagers. The goal is actually to raise ten, um, but there's just not a lifetime wish for that, so it's just going to say five. The first thing we need to do is have her go to the city hall, register as self-employed homemaker. Uh, unlike pretty much all the other um, self-employed things you don't have to get a skill point in it because there's not really any skill points this one is different from other self-employed um, skills let's unpause it um, I'll get into the rules a little bit um, I created the challenge so I came up with all the rules myself um, but so you start out as a young adult who um, is going to immediately join the homemaker profession like she's doing now Um, you must adopt, which we're calling fostering, you must fo adopt a foster baby before the end of the first day. You're not allowed to make money through painting or writing, etc. Your job is just to care for the family at home using the homemaker mod. Um, so unlike the 100 baby challenge where they use a lot of painting and writing and stuff, you can't do any of that. Um, the children can, but you can't. The, the one exception is having a small garden. Let's see, responsibility is earn money maintaining your home as a nurturing environment to raise a family. Do you want to register self-employed? Yes. Your responsibilities are clear. Keep the home clean, make food, and make sure your children are well cared for and age up well. Watch out though, the government is keeping close tabs on you and will penalize you for infractions. And I'll get into that in a little bit. Sorry about that, that was my dog. Um, anyway, now we're going to go to the library. Um, and we're going to learn gardening. Because like I said, the, um, the one exception is gardening. Because gardening helps you with your career. All the university guys here don't care. The portal will probably show up soon too. Um, but anyway, um, see, you are not allowed to have a maid, butler, repairman, or babysitter. Police and firemen are okay. You're not allowed to travel without all the children or go on the free vacation opportunity. Children must stay babies for at least two days, unlike in the 100 baby challenge where you can age them up immediately. You can't in this one. Uh, toddlers can be aged up once they learn three toddler skills. Children and teens must um, get the message that they are on the honor roll before you can age them up. So in that sense, it's like the 100 baby challenge. But I wanted to make mine a little bit different. That's why um, you, you have to stay as babies for two days which is the lowest time on the slider that you can have for babies, at least for like normal. I, for short, it might be one day, I don't know, but for normal, it's two. Um, you must teach toddlers their skills personally rather than using the premium content items. You can put them in the walker and playpen, but not until after they've learned walking and talking. The swings are okay because they don't teach any skills. Um, 
teaching toddlers their skills is part of your job, so that's why you have to do that. Um, children and teens are allowed to earn money through skills or getting part-time jobs. That's fine. Um, every time you get promoted in your career, you have to adopt a new foster care child. If the house is full already, um, you adopt a new baby as soon as the child just ages up to a young adult and moves out. Um, you don't have to move children out immediately after becoming an adult unless you need the room. Um, but they're not allowed to get full-time jobs. They have to keep their part-time jobs. And then the challenge ends once you're promoted to level 10 of the profession and your 10th child ages up to young adult. I'm pretty sure there's 10. Um, most professions, there's 10. So um, that's why I figured for this one too. And that's all the rules. Now to get into the homemaker mod a little bit, you can see here it has total earned and funds to promotion. This is not actually the total amount that you've earned, um, like most professions. It won't, this changes every day. This is the amount of our money you've earned today. So um, if she starts a garden or learns cooking or something, then she will um, have some money here. But um, she just doesn't have any money yet. But I'll show you. Um, I think like every day you get a tiny stipend. Well, not t super tiny, but it's like $52, I think, to start out um, every day. But then that goes up each level. So the first day is like $52 or something. And then the second, once you've been promoted one time, it goes up to like 100 and something that you start out with each day. Um, and then... See, I have, I have it printed out here. What you can do to improve um, your money. You also get money for um, engaging in friendly social interactions with one of your children, cleaning up dishes, making beds, mopping, doing laundry, and throwing out the trash, repairing or upgrading an object, serving a meal watering or weeding plants, learning cooking or handiness, having a child in the household learn a skill, playing with your toddler, teaching your toddler a skill, learning a new recipe, brushing your teeth, washing your hands, taking a shower or bath, having a sim age up well, and certain positive moodlets such as fresh clothing, nicely decorated, comfy, well rested, etc. So those are all things that you'll earn money for, which will help you get promoted. But there's also things that take money away from you and make you less likely to get promoted. Or you won't actually have to, you won't lose any money, but it'll go into the negative of how much money you have. And things that decrease the amount of money you're getting. Uh, I can go ahead and change that to our moods, um, or to our needs rather. So things that decrease the amount of money you get for that day are having a sim see a dirty dish, full trash can, empty pet bowl, trash pile, unmade bed, or puddle, or burn spot. Having a fire in your household, getting robbed, having a child set a prank, having a child skip school or work, having an object stolen, detonating objects, hacking, having a child sneak out after curfew, throwing eggs, having a bladder failure or passing out, and certain negative moodlets such as motive distress, being grounded, failing in school, nauseous, stuff taken, etc. So if your value um, if your value here is greater than zero, then you will receive the money um, that it shows. If it's less than zero, then you get nothing for that day. At the end of seven days, the government will give you a final grade. If you suffered four more negative grade days, you will be demoted. And if you gain positivity, if you grade it positively for five or more days, you will receive a bonus at the end of the week. Um, negative marks will impact how much you get paid the next day, as well. Um, if if it goes into the negative, that's that stays. Um, and you don't. You have to keep doing things that earn you money. 
until your balance is in the positive again and then you will um, start earning money again but um, it resets um, every week so that way if you get into the hole real bad and you just can't seem to get into the positive again it'll reset at the beginning of a new week um, so you can start earning money again and even if your your balance for that week is in the negative because you have a fire or something big like that happens you still get your daily stipend of like the fifty two dollars or a hundred and something dollars so that's um, it for this challenge uh, I will post a link to the careers mod um, and the my challenge page on the forums so that you can go back and reread the rules and stuff if you want to but that's basically it for the introduction to the to my let's play um, I'm recording this on Friday hopefully I'll get it up to you today um, I'm changing my recording schedule a little bit and I'm going to be doing um, I'm going to be posting on Tuesdays and Fridays instead of what I was doing before which was Mondays and Thursdays because of my husband's new schedule that he has for his new job um, it's just going to be easier for me to record on those days without him home so and then I will start I will probably be doing my professional woohoo or let's play on Tuesdays and then this one the foster care challenge on Fridays. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. And she is just about done learning gardening so that's nice. I'm not going to have a big garden. In almost all my games I have a garden and it's usually pretty big. I don't know why. I don't garden in real life. But um, I'm just going to do like a couple of plants. Um, and then I'm going to have her go down to the garden over here. Let it load up. And harvest some food. Just a couple things. Um, just some lettuce for the garden. Um, and because they're not really, she's going to be eating autumn salad at first, but they're mostly going to be eating birthday cake, which reminds me, their house. This is the house now. Uh, it's only got one bedroom, and it's got uh, like a little area here in a kitchen but I'm going to remodel it in fact I think I'm going to go ahead and do that now now that the portal and everything has showed up so she can get a little bit more money uh, to remodel with I'm gonna sell her camera too I'm gonna try and sell her camera there we go yeah, she didn't get any lettuce when she learned her gardening. Okay, so I'm going to go and do that, and I will be right back. Alright, I'm back, and this is their new house. I've got her bedroom. I gave her a better bed. Um, I got the little kid's room here. Oh, she can come home now, I guess. She's got some lettuce. Go home. Um, I have the baby's room, which, um, there's also going to be a bunk bed in here, eventually. It's just got a swing right now, and some toddler stuff. Um, I have, um, baskets, laundry baskets, in every room, and they have a washing machine, since washing clothes gets her money. But you don't want to see any clothes on the floor, so I put them in one at each room, so that won't happen. Um, I got a better TV, a little bit better TV, because um, if they get like a bad reception or whatever, 
then you lose money for that if they're watching the TV and they get the bad reception with it. Oh, and I need to go and change my settings for this. Um, because they don't have a computer. Um, story progression. General options. Import settings. But I got him a better shower because it's the same thing. If they get the cold shower moonlit, she loses money. So it's important that they have a nice stuff. And a new fridge for that same reason. If they get the taste like fridge, then um, she loses money. So I got them a new fridge, which is custom content that fridge is. Oh, and I took away the stove completely. They're not going to be using a stove. She just has the baking station because she's going to be baking birthday uh, cakes a lot. Um, and she didn't have enough money for that and a stove. And some planter boxes. One for lettuce and one for this, the Kona bean, because that's going to be worth the most out of all this stuff, I'm pretty sure. Basil's work more as a seed. I don't know. I just know the beans are usually worth a lot of money. So, yeah. This is her new house that I redid. And now she has $462. And now I'm going to have her call for services and adopt a baby. Oh, Kiwi Roshness. Um, adoption services. Mikali Miyasa, Gussie Jova Day Rock. And then she can serve autumn salad. While she's waiting for the adoption people to come up. Um, I have a baby name generator um, on my phone. Why is this still coming up? This should not be coming up anymore. Mm, mm, come on. Mm. But I have a baby j baby name generator that I'm going to use to generate their names because that's just going to be easier. Then it might get some weird stuff. But, um, that way I don't have to keep thinking of names myself. Why is this? I'll figure out what's going on with that off camera. And she can make autumn salad um, with the lettuce that she's going to grow without a stove. See, now she's earned $70 for making the autumn salad. Oh, and throwing away the newspaper, she gets money for that. Um, which is nice. Because I normally cancel the newspaper, but I'm not going to do that for her because she can earn money by throwing it away. See, it's a baby. So we're going to do mail for the first one. And my generator came up with Aldo. So let's do that. Mm. Mm. She wants to get married, but she's not going to get married. And she's not going to buy a stove.
And this way, with their adopting them, they can look all sorts of different ways. Ah, <laughs> uh, dogs are barking again. Sorry. All right, let's put Aldo in the swing. Oh, and her clothes, the pants are store content, I think, but the top is custom content, I'm pretty sure. Mm, turkey, turkey. And I'll put her up for download, too. But, like I said, it comes with custom content. And I don't know why this basket is still here. Let's, um... Move it to family inventory, sure. And she can wash the dishes. And she'll get money for that. And uh, because she's neat every time she uses the bathroom, she will wash her hands afterwards. And she gets money for that too. So now she's up to $84. Oh, and they always get paid at midnight. So the goal right now is to have one baby and toddler at the same time. So only one baby slash toddler. And then hopefully she'll get promoted around the time Aldo becomes a child and then adopts a new baby then. She can plant her lettuce and cone of bean. Now she's got eighty-six dollars. Yeah, she washes her hands. She doesn't get much money for washing her hands, but it's a little bit. Oh, she can't fertilize yet, I don't think. Okay, well, she can take a shower, and then she can go to sleep. And then I'll end this part um, after she does that, see how much money she gets. Or I'll fast forward it through min till midnight, um, so, she get so she'll get paid before the end of the day. Go over here, change speed to fast, and then I'll change it back to slow, so that'll restart the timer, so she won't have to get back up as, as early. She has $96, and I don't know why she changed to little shorts when she got out of her shower instead of her normal pants. And change speed to slow, and then she can go to sleep. Because that's not even her pajamas. Oh, she got up to a hundred dollars. That's good. And she gets. So she goes. The government has reviewed its reports on your household and has awarded Clara Foster with hundred dollars in grant money. Good job, Clara. All right. Um. Oh, I'll put this back up. Um, and I guess uh, I'll call that the end of my first part of my challenge. I hope you enjoyed watching. And uh, if you did, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time.